so I'm going to show you how to make um, Minecraft uh, for your videos and After Effects Minecraft blocks <sighs> like this and this is where we'll end up by the end of the second tutorial but to start off we need to get these in a folder and to do that what you do is go to Google and download a terrain texture like this. If you just Google search terrain HD or whatever, Minecraft terrain, you can find one of these and download it and open it up in Paint and select each individual thing. These are all 16 by 16 pixels, which is really small. So to make them bigger, you just copy each one and paste it or scale it up to 256 by 256. This is a good size. And then you save each one individually. So I did that with all of those in order to get these right here. As far as like the glass and other see through transparent items go, um, in paint, they'll open up as white, like this. You want to uh, fill it into black. Any transparent things, like leaves, make them all black. And flowers and trees and stuff, make it all black. Anything you don't want to be, or anything that's supposed to be see-through. So after you got all that done, Go ahead and open up After Effects, um, make a new comp, and I just make it 1280 by 720, and I'm going to name this one Iron. Um, to import your stuff, okay, let me backtrack again. You want to save your cracks in a special file, a folder, in order like this, because when you import it, when you just drag in the folder to After Effects, it'll make a GIF file like this, and we want that. So go ahead and do that and import the folder as a whole. And import all your stuff that you want, and um, make your composition. Okay. Um, got that. Now I'm going to import my iron. And I want to add a new camera layer. And then I'm going to rename this. If you click enter on, while it's selected, you can rename it. Control D to duplicate, Command D for uh, max. Rename this one to bottom. Control D, enter to rename. Front, and you want to do this for all of your sides, just to stay organized. You technically don't have to, but it's easier to think about it all. And then you want to make them all 3D layers. Now you can navigate in 3D space, but it's not a block yet. We've got to change the push P for position and shift R to bring up rotation too change the orientation of the x-axis to 90 degrees and then the position of the y-axis because this is 256 pixels and the anchor point is in the middle that means it's 128 pixels away so we want to um, do 360 minus 128 and after effects we'll do the simple math for you or you can just type in 232 if you know that and don't ask me why it's minus to go up. Anyway, so position and shift R for rotation. 90 degrees again for the bottom on the X axis and change the Y position to 360 plus 128. And as you can see, we got some progress going. Okay, so since the front doesn't have any rotation, we just need to move the position to negative 128 on the z-axis and the back on the z-axis to 128 left 
side, we need to push P for position, Shift R for rotation. Rotate 90 degrees on the Y axis. Move 640 minus 128 on the X axis. And last, 90 degrees on the Y axis and 640 plus 128. And there you have a full 3D block of Minecraft. A Minecraft block. And I went through and did a lot of them. So I have a bunch of um, blocks already made, ready to use. I recommend doing this. As far as transparent blocks go, you just do the same thing, except to make them see through, you change the blending mode to lighten. And um, to get like the flowers and plants, you also need to change it to lighten. Lighten gets rid of the black. That's why it's important to use paint it black and paint. Um, but all you need to do is just rotate one of them 90 degrees and it's that simple for the plants and stuff. Uh, as far as wool goes, I took the white one and then I just duplicated it and added an adjustment layer with the tint effect and changed the color to what I wanted it to be. So. There's a little cheat for you there if you want to save some time. And you can get any color of wool you want. So there's all those. And last thing for this tutorial after you import uh, your cracks, go ahead and make a new comp um, and name it cracks or whatever you want. And I go, I went ahead and um, so you got your new comp. I went ahead, make it 3D, and right click the time and time stretch it to 400%. It just makes it last longer so it doesn't go as fast. Um, anyway, so you just make the block the same way as you normally do and change the blending mode to overlay instead of lighten. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, watch the next one to put them into a scene together like this and learn how to make the blocks themselves crack.